Welcome to this video on defining analog to digital audio converters. An analog to digital audio converter converts an incoming electrical pressure sound wave into a digital data stream. In essence, a changing pattern of electrical pressure voltage is converted into ones and zeros. This is done in order that the audio signal may be recorded, stored, cloned, processed, edited, transmitted and replayed by a digital audio device or computer. The process of analog to digital conversion or A to D conversion is also referred to as pulse code modulation or PCM for short and digital audio signals themselves by the generic term PCM audio. As we have already learned, in electrical form all digital signals take the form of a pulse wave. WAV and AIFF are the most commonly used uncompressed PCM file formats and MP3, ACC, OGG and FLAC are examples of compressed formats. Compressed and uncompressed file formats are covered in detail in other videos. A knowledge of the principal theories of conversion, including sample rate and word length, is important for studio owners who need to control the quality and file size of their digital audio recordings. The quality of A to D conversion is paramount if we are to record sound with as little distortion as possible. Quality depends on two primary factors. They are the converter hardware itself and the conversion settings we choose. Today, even cost-effective audio interface converters are capable of impressive sound quality and the law of diminishing returns applies as you spend more. To put this in context, the layman may not be able to hear much, if any difference, between a budget converter and a high-end device. On the other hand, conversion settings can have a dramatic impact on quality and that is why it is important for us to understand them. The term analog to digital converter is used to define two things. Firstly, a dedicated standalone hardware device which will usually have connectors to both accept an incoming line level analog electrical pressure sound wave and output a digital audio data stream. Such a device will almost certainly have connectors to receive or send digital synchronization signals such as word clock. The second use of the term is to describe a circuit board or chipset located inside a multifunction device such as an audio interface, sampler, video camcorder or mobile phone. The process of recreating an analog audio signal from digital PCM data in order that it may be heard is handled by a digital to analog converter or DAC for short. This involves a process known as successive approximations and is of interest to digital audio hardware designers but not essential knowledge for studio owners. It's probably fair to say that even cost effective DACs are of a sufficiently high standard that their quality need not concern us unduly and besides few DACs have any settings for us to tinker with. And we have little or no control over what quality of converter our audience is using. It's the analog to digital conversion that we must pay most attention to. The script for this tutorial, along with accompanying images, can be found at our website projectstudiohandbook.com. We suggest you subscribe at our YouTube channel and join our mailing list at our website to receive notification of new videos, blog posts and subscriber only extras. Thanks for watching.